Good morning. It's Vlog 551. Working on a couple of projects. Kathy's working on our kangaroo, but not any kangaroo. A little kangaroo. A little tiny kangaroo. <laughs> and then I'm working on this. This uh, doesn't look like much, but it's actually the sign for wheels and waves. So I'm working on that today. I'll show you more about that. But first, check out the kangaroo. <laughs> it's like a creepy little kangaroo puppet. I know. The head's over there getting his cheeks glued on. These are the creepy little things that come to life in the middle of the night when it's pitch dark and you got to go out in the back and all of a sudden you see this little guy walking around. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm putting on black paint that looks totally blue. I don't know what the deal is, but it's... I don't know why you think that looks blue. Because it does look blue. Mm -hmm. Like a navy blue. That looks blue. Doesn't that look blue? No. I mean, look. That's black. This is black. Oh, yeah. That's blue. But it turns black when it dries. As any expert painter would know, I'm such an expert painter. Here we are again, driving now PCH. The Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, plug-in hybrid, has gone back, and in its place has come the Mazda CX-5 SUV. Now, I've been pretty impressed with the Mazdas that have been coming to the pad recently, and this one is certainly no exception. I'm gonna do a few errands, and in the meantime, Kathy's gonna continue on the kangaroo. sure I just found the last remaining Datsun F10 on the entire planet. Unless there happens to be one in Japan in some museum somewhere, this one is at the RAI store. Wouldn't be a bad car to go camping in, I guess. Yeah, the monster. 
Today is Bob's birthday. Our buddy Bob, who works with us, also Kathy's ex-husband. Uh, we are going to go and take Bob on this hike that we did before, but we're going to show you guys some different stuff. <laughs> Kathy's kind of excited, aren't you, Kathy? What? Gonna go pick up Bob. We're gonna head up to the hiking spot, which is Yerba Buena, where we where we just went a few days ago. But this time, we didn't make it to the grotto. This time, we're gonna make it to the grotto. And bring a friend. Rock so. climbing right there. Hello. Happy birthday. Well, thanks. What's up, Bob? Hey, Jim. trailhead for the Yerba Buena Trail. Bob and Kathy are checking out the view. I'm not going to show the stuff because we, we already showed it in the one of the other vlogs, but we are going to show the grotto, which is an area that we didn't go to, which is a little further. You guys are going to dig this. It's going to take us about an hour to get there, so the next shot you see will be us at the grotto. Cool. Almost there. We're going way here over this rock. Heading to the grotto. Kathy's right behind me. Bob's around the corner. Check that out. That's where we're going. this because you know you you no one will ever say about me that I didn't 
fill the day up with as much cool stuff as possible. I'm very energetic. I was told as a child I was hyper. I hated that term. No, I just don't care. Actually, I, I love being hyper. I love getting out there and, and experiencing the world and doing amazing stuff like uh, taking Bob down to the grotto in that that incredible place, amazing place. Didn't even know it was there. Been in this town for 30 years. Didn't know it was there. A couple of side uh, things. I uh, want to s express some thanks to Mazda. They sent over this, uh, the, the Mazda CX-5, but every time they send it over, they also send one of these cards, which is really cool. It's a gift card um, that I, you know, I can basically pick any charity I want and send them 25 bucks. So thanks Mazda for sending that. Article from uh, Melba Surfside News just came out. This announced uh, that Wheels and Waves this weekend. Bam, there's our buddy Johnny. Can you see that? Johnny Banks is going to be at Wheels and Waves this weekend. It's confirmed. There's not going to be any rain. We had we special ordered no rain for this particular event. There's going to be rain tomorrow and Thursday. Wait, when is tomorrow? It's going to be rain Thursday. No, Friday and Saturday. <laughs> then Sunday, voila, the sun comes out. Wheels and Waves coming at you. There'll be some epic cars. And as always, I'm going to be handing out Hot Wheels. We're going to have some free coffee thanks to Starbucks. You know, I do these things. I do the car shows. I, I go on these hikes because uh, I identify with these things as a person that that wants to get out there. You know, the the I am in me, the the identity that I have created for myself. It's someone that that enjoys uh, the outdoors. It's someone that enjoys going out and doing these things and exploring and being an, an adventure. And I created that unknowingly as part of my personality and that's what I love to do. So today's theme is, you know, what do you identify yourself as? Are you, do you identify yourself as someone that uh, it's uh, challenging to make money or money comes easily? Or a kind person or you're someone that's a little bit difficult to get along with? You're happy all the time and you give out love or you're, are you Mr. Moody Pants? Well, the important thing to, to recognize is that it's all a choice. You can, you can design your life. You can design how you want things things to be emanated from you as, as to what you consider to be your identity. I call myself a car guy. I believe I'm a car guy. That's what I am. That's what I've decided to be. I'm also a world traveler. I'm also someone who's a bit of an adventurer. And I also consider myself a highly creative person. But you can say all these things and you have to recognize that it's a choice. What are you going to choose? And you get to design. So that's kind of your assignment for today, for now, for tomorrow, just to kind of think about it. How do you define yourself? And if you don't like the definition, you can redefine. And it's just about building a new habit, replacing an old habit and building a new habit. Just affirming to yourself, I am this thing. And then take every opportunity to define that, to, to, to act as if. But it's important to identify and to define yourself as something really cool. And when you do that, then cool stuff happens. And that's why we do this on the blog. Again, thanks for watching. This is Fireball. Malibu blog signing out. We'll see you tomorrow.